Hey, what's up everyone? Kobanamani456 here today, presenting to all a new episode of Fan Game Mania, as we are going to be retrying Sonic Utopia once again, but this time around, showcasing the secrets and the ending for this stage, as in the last uh, video that I did covering this. I basically showcased it, giving my first impressions, you know, just talking about the gameplay and, you know, everything else in general, and kind of trying to get some feedback from you guys to see what you all thought. But uh, now that we are actually going to be focusing on completing it, kind of like how I did it with my Green Hill Paradise Act 2 coverage, which you should definitely check out, by the way. Um, leave a like down below if you're excited, as I'm actually going to be rendering this with cinematic motion blur, so it should look even more beautiful. But it's going to take a lot longer to render, so any feedback and support really, really helps out tremendously, whether it be a like or comment. But anyway, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. Every time I hear the opening piano, whenever uh, we hear the music for this stage and we get introduced to Green Hill Zone in Sonic Utopia, I just get really, really happy. Like, yes, I've already played this multiple times and, you know, I I've already orgasmed and whatnot over the visuals, the controls, the gameplay, and the music, but seriously, something about this game is just so almost therapeutic in a way. It just makes you feel happy. It, it, it makes you feel cheerful because Everything about this game is so cheerful, so beautiful, and almost uplifting in a way to where... Honestly, okay, so these past few weeks have been really, really rough. I've just kind of been really good at hiding it, and, you know, I'm trying to, like, you know, focus on uploading and whatnot. I really don't want stress or anything like that to affect my work anymore when it comes to YouTube, like I did over um, the past few months. But, uh, you know... I don't know, every time I play this game, I just get really, really happy. I forget about so much, and I just, I get absorbed by it, because, I don't know, it's just so much fun. And I really wish we had more than just Green Hill Zone, but at the same time, you know, I mean, we just gotta be patient. Maybe uh, the developers will release something else um, very, very soon. But, uh, I mean, we are going to be showcasing, uh, you know, something a little bit different, as, you know, there actually is kind of, I guess, another stage incorporated into Sonic Utopia, which is really, really awesome. And right now, we're actually about to go to one area, which is the gym room. So, as you all can see here, um, basically, this room, it's like pink, it's a, it, it's like made out of, like, quartz or something like that. Like, does anyone remember Quartz Quadrant from Sonic CD? and how, you know, there are like a ton of gems and all that stuff all over the place. That's basically what this place is full of. It, it's just full of, you know, gems. There's like a, it's, there's a gem floor that you walk on. Like ev everything is really, really awesome. And look at that, I, I love that curl right there. That curl is just so cool, man, holy crap. All right, so how we get over here is, um, first off, see here, look at this. Look at, look at the, look at this floor, man. It looks so good. All right, so if we actually come up here, we can get ourselves invincibility. So that's one of the secrets to this room here. Really, really cool. But now that we've actually gotten this and you all get to see the invincibility effect and whatnot, now let's actually uh, head on over to the exit of this room because now we're going to go on to... Um, now we're going to go on to the uh, secret, secret cave that's in this game that I was just talking about. Um... But yeah, seriously, it, it, I was really happy to see a lot of people very, um, very, uh, I guess, um, positive about this fan game, too, because, you know, some people complain about Green Hill Zone Paradise and whatnot, saying this and that about it, and, you know, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, bro. I'm just, wow. Wow. This game just makes me so happy, man. Um... But yeah, uh, a lot of people complained about some things in Green Hill Paradise Act 2. Like I said, how mostly these open world fan games have no direction, you know, there's no map or anything like that. And, uh, you know, a lot of people also kind of mentioned that the level design around here is a little bit, you know, th there could definitely be more done to it. You know, it's a little bit flat, I guess. I, I don't know. They're just people saying different things, you know. I mean, I'm not a game designer, so I can't really give too much input when it comes to stuff like that, but, uh... I mean, you know, I, I always listen to what people say in the comments, and, you know, I like I said, I know that's cool and all, like, you know, if I guess it's not as, um, ah, oh, god dang it, I messed up the, uh, ramp there. 
Um, you know, it, it's not like the perfect, perfect Sonic experience, but like I said, these things give us ideas of what could be brought to Sonic in the future, and I feel like this right here is something that should definitely be, you know, something Sega should definitely consider. It's gotten so much publicity, Sega knows about it. It's like, there's, there's definitely no chance that they don't know about this game at all, and... I'm pretty sure they're eyeing, you know, reception for this game to see just what people actually think about it and what people are, you know, going to complain about, what people are going to praise about this game and whatnot. Because you look at Sonic Mania. I mean, Sonic Mania was basically a game created because, you know, the fans were, uh, you know, like Christian Whitehead made better versions of Sega's own game. And, you know, they basically hired him on board, and look at that, Sega, like, it's obvious Sega definitely listens to their fans. And, um, you know, while in some ways it may have taken them a little bit too long in some people's eyes, or it's still taking them a little bit too long, you gotta give them credit where credit is due. And, um, I really hope, like I said, that Sega incorporates something like this in the future, like a sandbox kind of, you know, Sonic mode, because we already get to see, like, you know, I don't know, like, I feel like the modern Sonic gameplay should definitely stick around, like, that shouldn't change or anything like that at all, but, um, what is it? I'm trying to think, there's something else I was gonna say. But, you know, open world Sonic should definitely be an option. It should be an option, it shouldn't be, like, something part of the story mode or anything like that, it should just be an option for people to really enjoy the controls of the game, because, here's an example here, does anyone ever, like, like, Meteor Herd. Has anyone ever just played Meteor Herd just to run through it? I know I have. I play that all the time just to run through it because I just love the atmosphere. I love the controls for Knuckles as a character. And, um, you know, I, I, I don't know. It's just so invigorating to be able to run around, go up super high, then be able to drill drive all the way to the bottom and, uh, you know, just have fun. I, I don't even try to treasure hunt most of the time when I'm in Meteor Herd. I just enjoy the controls and the movement of Knuckles as a character in that game. And uh, right here we are in Labyrinth Zone. So yeah, this is the uh, little secret for Sonic Utopia. Really, really awesome. And uh, look at this beautiful water. You know, for once I'm actually tempted to kind of take a dive in the, in the aquatic mine. Even though this is Labyrinth Zone, but still, you know. It, 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 take, it would take a lot more for me to be inclined to get into water in Labyrinth Zone, so... Feet, like, this is, uh, what is it? Mission complete. <laughs> Mission complete. Uh, Sonic Utopia developers, because you made me do something that I thought was impossible, that I would never do. Alright, oh my god, spikes galore all over the place. Whoa, whoa. And, right underwater we go. I love going underwater, too. It's so pretty. Now, a lot of people have been asking me, too, um, can you run on water in this game? I don't know. Uh, let's test it out in just a second, if we can. Um, I don't see the option to test it out around here, though, sadly. So, I don't think that's going to be something we can do here. But, uh, alright, checkpoint. And, let's see. So, I, I think the left-hand side, like, or where the cliffs are over there, that's the left. So, you know, we can't really... Which way are we going now? God dang it. <laughs> I, I want to reach the goal. That's what I really, really, really want to do right now. But, um, thing is, I don't know where the goal is, so this is making it a little bit more difficult. Though I think, okay, let's get up here. Let's at least get up here. Because also, I'm pretty sure we are running out of air. There we go. Alright. Well, we're going to figure out which way we need to go. Look at this. Wow, okay. I'm gonna figure out which way we need to go. And if I have to do some edits, I definitely will, but, uh... Okay, we're going backwards now. Yeah, we're definitely going backwards. Alright, let's go. So I think one way to actually help you- Oh, god dang it! Ah, so close, man. I was really, really close to being able to go through that um, perfectly, but um, I think one way to help you figure out where exactly you're, um, where you're, where you are, is uh, to look at which way enemies are facing. Look at which way enemies are facing, and look at which way flowers are. So that way um, you can get through this more easily. Cause, jeez. Okay, there's nothing there. I feel like I should probably go back and grab a bubble quick. 
Yep. That's how I'm feeling right now. Crap, 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 crap. Come on. Give it to me. Thank you. All right. Back to the surface we go. Whichever way we have to. What the? Huh? What just hit me? All right. Now let's try this again. Hopefully we can make it to the end because I keep getting... Okay, here we go. Yeah. Ooh, yes. Okay, so I think I actually figured out what I'm gonna do. Okay, okay, okay. So we're gonna come over... What the... What the heck? Okay. Um, yeah, so we're gonna come over this way. So I'm pretty sure this is the direct... Yep, we're supposed to be going this way. Definitely. Alright, checkpoint, baby. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We finally are going the right direction. Woo! <laughs> it's so easy to get lost around here, I swear, but... You know, man. Dude, seriously, this environment is so beautiful, man. Like, even though, like I said, Green Hill Paradise Act 2 is one of the... I don't know, it's a really beautiful game as well. There's just something I really, really like about a very nice art style like this. You know, and I'm like I've always said, I don't want to compare. Um, you know, I don't want to compare fan games and be like, oh, one's better than the other or something like that. But I feel like at some points you kind of have to be honest about things like huh okay off me boy <laughs> you gotta be honest about some things and uh you know i, I don't know i just I, I really really like how this game plays man it's so good okay so this i have no idea that where where that leads off to so okay another checkpoint here might as well hit this all right i guess we're going the right way Look at this, look at this. Yes. Ah, oh, man. All right. Whoa. Oh, snap. I didn't realize it was going like that. Okay, here we go. Ah, uh, let's see. Is this the right way now? I have no idea if I'm even going the right way anymore. I'm just like, you know, chilling, exploring, whatnot. All right, I think this is actually the right way. We're about to reach the end, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. <laughs> I've always had a hard time getting through games like this that are like super open world, but uh, there we go. We did it. We switched the uh, little goal ending there with Classic Sonic, and that is it for Sonic Utopia. So thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, you know, like I said, make sure to hit that like button. It helps out tremendously. And uh, leave a comment down below giving me your thoughts overall after playing the game for yourself. As, you know, I guess the last time when I did my video on it, you know, not many people had played it at the time because it had just come out. So, yeah. Anyway, would love to hear your feedback as always. Big thanks once again to the team for making this fan game such a brilliant, brilliant game. And, uh, yeah. Thanks again. See you all. Have a good day. Peace, Republic of Kobanamites, and take care.